Hi guys, I'm Jamie, managing editor of Best Products, and we're here in Brooklyn with Mr. Ludla the Cat. And in honor of the opening day of Olympics, we have some really exciting challenges in store for Ludlow. Um, we have a ton of different cat toys here from PetSmart and Pet Stages, and we're gonna see what attracts his eye and name a cat toy winner at the end of it all. Um, so follow Ludlow at Ludlow the Cat on Instagram if you don't already, you should. Um, and we're gonna start with this guy. Lolo, come here. <laughs> He's kind of into himself right now. Lolo, hey. There's Lolo. a time change in Rio, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is from Pet Stages, this is $4, and this is what you would call a cat charmer. And as you see, there's like a little tinsel ball on the end. Lolo, come here, Lolo. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready for my nap. <laughs> uh, but there's feathers and there's catnip in this, and so sometimes if you can get him riled up, he'll be like super into it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, and this is pretty easy. You can do this for as long as, you know, until your arm wants to fall off, because <laughs> it is a little bit manual. Um, but he typically loves like running around the house playing with this. Hey. <gasps> Come here. <gasps> hey. Um, and there's a little bit of catnip on the bottom of this, which might be what's enticing him a little bit more. And the feathers, cats always love feathers. Love them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the best part about this, it's only $4. So if he ends up biting off any of the feathers, um, if for some reason, like, I don't know what would happen, maybe the string falls off eventually, you can always get another one. And it's a pretty cheap toy that keeps him occupied for a pretty long time. Um, the other one I'm going to show you is this cat charmer, which looks a little bit older because we've had it for a really long time. Um, but he loves this. Come here. <gasps> Come here. And this, oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready for the next event. <laughs> um, so this brings us to the cat tunnel. Um, so this is from PetSmart. And this is $12. And this has a little toy on the inside. Love them. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Close up, saying hi to the fans. Yeah, he's not camera shy. Love them. And someone's wondering, what's up with um, Ludo has like interesting uh, like little uh, paws. Yeah, so Ludo is a polydactyl cat. Um, so if you look really closely, Sean, he's hiding. Um, if you look really closely on his front paws. He has six little fingers instead of five. Um, and that's something, show the camera. Um, that's something that actually is very common in cats, believe it or not. Like 50% of cats are polydactyl. And Ernest Hemingway used to have a bunch of polydactyl yeah. cats, fun fact. It makes them really good um, to be on a boat. <laughs> so they're like sailor cats in a way. So that's why he's great at the Summer Olympics. So exactly. He's, yeah, put him on your crew team. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and give him this catnip squirrel. Um, so the, the secret to this <laughs> is there is all this catnip, and I put a bunch of it in the bottom of this. You just simply open it up, and you put a bunch of different catnip inside. You can fill it as much as you want or as little as you want, um, but the more the better because it makes them go crazy. And it's Velcro, and once you close that up, love them. Just throw it. And your cat is like sure to go after it because they absolutely are obsessed with it in all forms. Um, and I personally love that it looks like a squirrel. <laughs> so that keeps him occupied for probably forever until you take it away. Um, and I can already tell you, it looks like this might be the winner in the cat toy category because <laughs> he's kind of obsessed with it. And where'd you get this from? Um, so this is from PetSmart. Um, and this is actually a really reasonable toy as well. This is six dollars. Brandy says love those so cute. Oh, thanks, Brandy. He's like, thank you, thank you. High five. <laughs> yeah. So he clearly is like a little bit obsessed with the squirrel. <laughs> and Sally says that Papaya loves a little cardboard scratch jingle balls. I think those are those. Yeah, that's what these are. <laughs> Um, he's like, I hear something, but I want to play the squirrel. <laughs> what's up? What's up? I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get this away from him <laughs> for the rest of the night. 
<laughs> the squirrel's the Michael Phelps of cat toys. Yes. <laughs> Clear winner. Hey. He's like, you can't have it. You can't have it. You did the roll again, though. You did. Hi. And how old is Ludlow? So Ludlow's two and a half years old. He's a rescue cat. Mm -hmm. Um, and he was found actually on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and that's why we named him Ludlow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's definitely a city cat. Oh, I love the little bandana too. You're <laughs> wow. He is representing USA today in the Olympics. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get his attention with this. So this is the catnip vial. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a little bit of it on this cat scratcher hammock. Ooh, I'm bring this out. out. Um, and this is really cool. This is also from Pet Stages, and you can buy this online. Um, this is about $15. And this actually comes apart. It's two pieces. And I love the little, like, grass motif here. Oh. City cats get a little bit of the outside. Exactly. Without having to go to Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> So he's clearly still into the squirrel. <laughs> Come here. Come And for so, oh, go ahead. Oh, for people just tuning in, who are these uh, toys from and like what are we up to over here? Yeah, so we are hanging out with Love of the Cat. We're playing with a bunch of cat toys um, in honor of the Olympics and kind of seeing which toy is going to ring out as being the best cat toy of all. Um, we got a ton of toys from PetSmart and Pet Stages. All of the toys you can buy online and you can buy them on bestproducts.com slash cat toys. Um, and I recommend buying the squirrel because <laughs> it's kept him occupied already for at least like 10 minutes. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> uh, and the best part about a toy like this is you actually don't need to get involved. So you literally like give it to your cat and if you're having like a little bit of, you know, a night to yourself on the couch, throw him a toy and you don't have to do any work. I always That's feel really like awesome. animals get up at like 7 a.m. no matter what, even on a Saturday. They do. Like, yeah. yeah, like honestly like 6 in the morning for him. Oh, He's like, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> feel that, Lolo. <mama. laughs> Come here. All right, well, I'm going to try to distract him with this. Come here. Uh, look. Oh. Now cat scratchers are like pretty essential toys in the house because cats naturally like to scratch. Um, and so if you don't get one of these, like they will more than likely scratch up your furniture. Oh. Love it. <laughs> Clearly the squirrel is stealing the show, we know. And San <laughs> Sandy loves your dress too. Oh, thank you Sandy. <laughs> Don't bite me. Oh. I'm gonna grab the squirrel. Oh. Come here. Uh oh. Now it's personal, Lolo. Look. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what, what's now? What's now? Come here. Come here. He's like so ready to pounce. <laughs> Mother. Oh, he's curious about this Ooh. one. What is that? Is that grass? So this is really cool. This is like faux grass. Um, and this is another one from Pet Stages. It's called a hunting box and it's $12 on Amazon. Oh. He's like, I just want this girl. Oh, and Brittany just tuned in and she's loving, what is the cat's name? Ludlow. 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 Ludlow the cat on Instagram. <laughs> Um, I never knew that squirrels and cats could be best friends, <laughs> but they can. But that's also like such a good size too, because I mean like I go on trips with my animal too and I feel like a yeah. lot of people do, so it's easy storage. Exactly, yeah. like you can't exactly travel with this and it's kind of loud, um, but this is like something so easy to just like throw in your bag, take with you. And then also for people with like kids at home, if like you don't yeah. want the kids to like wake up or like get too occupied, this is just like a good like exactly. animal distractor. Yep. Um, so let's try, let's try your tunnel. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, so this I've seen him play with over the last couple of days. He's been completely obsessed with it. Um, this is from PetSmart. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Lola's like, I'm running this show. <laughs> so the thing about cats is you can't tell them what to do. That's clearly <laughs> like how this goes. He does whatever That's he wants. Cat 101. Yeah. 
Oh, I think Brittany's he... cat has a Facebook. Maybe Aww. the cat and Ludlow can be friends. <gasps> yeah, they could definitely be friends. Hey. Um, so typically what he would be doing is like scratching on this and then probably like <laughs> probably taking a nap on it. I think he's like a little bit riled up because of the squirrel. Ooga. Hey. There you go. <gasps> he definitely smells some catnip in here. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? And was this easy to put together because he said it came in two Yes, parts or, or... oh my gosh. Um, so this actually just slides right out, and it's been in here for a little bit, but if you just pull it up. Oh, so it's like a two-pack. I think it's to be a little bit stronger than I am right now, but yeah. You just pull it up, and then it actually oh, stores working. away. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, like that, or push it back in. Um, and yeah, and this is great because you can actually use both sides of it. Oh, nice. So if for some reason he like scratches up this side, you just flip it over, and you're good to go. You have another one, basically. Sandy says that Ludlow thinks that all of these are his, so you can't touch them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> He's true. probably mad at me right yeah. now. He's probably like, get out of my film. And these are great, too, because, I mean, they're all pretty good sizes for, like, like people in, the, in cities and everything like that, like, if yes. you have a backyard. And does this, because I know yeah, this is, like, so the biggest one. Like, what do you exactly. do Exactly. So this actually folds up, believe it or not. So if you grab, like, all three sides, this actually folds up. Oh. So you can just, like, tie it, and you throw it in your closet, and... Like for city living, this is great because it's so small, and then you pop it back out, and it actually has a toy inside. <laughs> Love this. Love this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> hey. So that's something that cats are known to do too, is just like rub themselves on everything because it, it basically like cl claims ownership. So that's like exactly right. Um, he's trying to tell me like this is his and not to touch right. it. Jamie, you did not rub on that. I know. <laughs> and is Ludlow just a complete indoor cat or? He is, yeah. yeah. Um, but he was found outside and he definitely has tendencies of like wanting to go back out there. <laughs> so if you open the door, he'll just like jet because he wants to escape. <laughs> I swear we treat him well here, but... Well, let's go to Rio. You, you would never guess it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, look at this. <laughs> and do you have, like, one tip for cat owners, too? Like, anything just, like, in general to, like, Ooh. make the cat, like, super happy? Yeah, I think you have to feel out his vibe, his or her vibe, because sometimes I'll, like, want to pick him up and, you know, hug him or cuddle him, and he's just, like, not having it. And often, like, you might get scratched if you don't, you know, pay attention to his, his actual vibe and what he feels like doing. Um, and cats are really independent, so it's important to kind of like figure out what they're in the mood to do at that time. They might just like not want to be bothered. Um, like right now, for example, he's like, I just want to like smell this cat. He turned to the camera like, yeah, I know, yeah. I know, exactly. But that is What's true, because I mean like so many people just want to be like, oh my god, this is my cat. Yeah. I'm just like, the cat's like, no, I'm sleeping. Hey. Oh. He's like, I don't even know what to do with all these yeah. toys. And what is that? Did we talk about like? We didn't. So this is um, by Kong and it's a crisscross ball toy. And there's like two built-in balls in here. Um, and this is actually like a really large, colorful toy that you can just like roll along. Again, like, I don't know how excited he is about this right <laughs> now because there's catnip that, he's, that is competing with this. Hey. And someone's wondering, I've never heard of this. Have you ever heard of or have a cat window hammock? Yes, actually, believe it or not. So it's not set up right now, um, but if you flash to our window, so luckily we have like a big enough window where we can set that up and we have one. Um, it must be hiding away, but basically you like put two suction cups here and then two on top and it just rests right here um, and he'll take naps up here and just look outside. Then, oh my gosh. And he loves it, like absolutely loves it because cats like being in high up places. Um, so that's just like somewhere we'll host it and chill and take a nap and just absolutely love it. And someone was wondering, do cats actually drink milk or is that just <laughs> on a TV? That's a good question. We have never actually fed him milk. Um, I will say we fed him cans of tuna fish and he does love tuna fish, oh. but that's only when we run out of cat food. <laughs> um, so that is definitely true. I don't know about the milk though. We'll have to try that. Yeah. I feel like tuna fish even <laughs> is like for when people run out of food too. <laughs> it's just a universal. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, if he's telling me he wants his squirrel back, Look. Look. It's definitely the winning toy. That so is. Yeah. 
So you do have to be careful about the fur on this because you don't want them to swallow too much of it, or any of it for that matter. Um, but it looks like it's staying intact. So, so cute. Yeah, that's his, that's his new cuddle buddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh my god, he's just licking it too. And you can actually see really well right now. Multiple um, fingers on the front of his paws. Hey. Can I distract you with this? Yeah. He's like, I do like playing with yeah. you. <laughs> He's like, I was just joking. <laughs> Aww. Does Ludlow get along with other animals or have any like play buddies in the neighborhood? Um, he doesn't because we only got him like six months ago. There is a Yorkie across the hall and Aww. every time that we open the door he tries to run over there and I think he thinks he's like a big bad cat. Aww. Um, and Squad just, balls, yeah. Yeah, he just like stands in front of the door and then the dog starts barking. Um, but he doesn't have any other pet friends yet. So if anybody so if any cats to... out there want to hang out with Ludlow, let me know. Hey. <laughs> I think he deserves a treat after all of yes. this. Let's see. Can we give you a treat? And Brittany also said that they have a squirrel toy too and they've had it forever. And really? their cat has not stopped playing with it. Oh my god. Well, apparently Ludlow's not <laughs> yeah. either. It's your favorite thing. So, okay. crowd favorite. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. He's just like bringing the toy with him. Come here. Uh -oh. Come here. Sit. Hey. Oh, he's like, mm -hmm. no, I want to play with my tunnel. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Love that. He doesn't even know what to do. There's like so many exciting things around right now. Ooh. <laughs> loves the limelight, though. <laughs> he wants to be a cat star. Yeah. <laughs> Love oh, that. <laughs> hey. The fact that he doesn't want treats is a testament to how enticing catnip is. <laughs> <laughs> he never says no to treats. Come You don't even want it? <laughs> no, that's problem. Okay, you know what? There's actually one more toy that I wanted to bring out before we finish. So this is the Pet Lynx Wild Thing toy, and Ooh. this is the ultimate in being a lazy cat owner because all you have to do is add two AA batteries and press the button and it actually does all of the work for you. I'm gonna take this away. And someone's wondering, Tanisha taught their cat how to play fetch. Have you taught them how to do that? I didn't no, know you could. No, that's amazing and I need to learn how to do that or teach them how to do that. Love them. Come here. <laughs> 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 and where does uh, where does Ludlow usually sleep? Uh, he actually sleeps like right next to me, and he like mm -hmm. loves human contact, so he'll sleep like either at the end of the bed or like right by my head, which sounds weird. Gotcha. But he's like in and out a little bit throughout the night, and I just sleep through it. Mm -hmm. Ludlow, look. Ooh. <laughs> I think he's a little camera shy right okay, now, okay. but <laughs> he wants to do a one-on-one -on -one interview. Yeah, Ludlow. Hey, <gasps> look. <laughs> um, and this is twenty dollars on PetSmart, and I swear, before this video started, he was like all about this. But now he's like, I'm too cool for school. Right. Look. Look. Is before he knew about the squirrel. <laughs> he's exactly. like, that's yeah. Yeah. Then we introduced him to this, and then he just lost it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Lando, pick the winner. Oh, oh. oh. I think he's picked it. <laughs> oh. I think the squirrel is our winner. Pet Smart, you are at it again. Um, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy Friday. I hope you enjoyed our Cat Olympics. And if you don't already, again, follow Lando the Cat on Instagram. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.